Good morning, everybody. It's Cheryl Morant here at CLM Premium Goats and Goat Milk Products. I have Miracle here getting her a drink. I want to tell you a pretty amazing story about Miracle and Hannah. Um, Miracle's starting to lose her winter cashmere, so she looks a little rough, don't you, baby? See, this weather around here, one day it's 70, next day it's 20, so the goats are a mess. But anyway, Miracle here got her name because she was a miracle herself. She actually was born less than two pounds, and her and her sister Hope were pretty much... Uh, lifeless when they were born. I don't know how else to explain it. I actually had to tube them for several days, but their mama, uh, Mia, she never gave up on them. I would take them to the house in the evening so I could tube them during the night um, because they had no suck ability at all. Um, mama was doing the best she could with them and she was excited every day when I brought them down to see her. One day, a miracle happened, just like her name and her sister, Hope, who's already had her babies this year. Um, they started sucking. So I immediately got them down here without tubing them that morning, stuck them on mom, which she was excited to see them like every single morning. I mean, this was going on for a week. And they drank. Amazingly enough, they was able to stay with mom from that point on. Sometimes they just need a little extra help. So this is Miracle's first kidding. And Miracle had three little boys. And I'll insert a picture for you right now. Three healthy boys, but Two of them are very small, a little less than two pounds, just like she was when she was born. The other is three pounds. I know you only see two in this video and it's nothing bad, but fortunately for us, we had another very experienced mama kidding at the same time. I did not want Miracle to even try to feed two itty bitty boys that was going to struggle to make it, first of all, with one big brother. So here's what happened. My wonderful Hannah. Now, Hannah's been with us for, oh, seven, eight years. I'll have to look at paperwork. My brain isn't working this morning, but she's been with us a long, long time. That little boy that you see looking at her right now, that is Miracle's baby. Hannah kidded one boy by herself, one. And I was like, okay, let's make another miracle out of this situation. There is Hannah's little boy on your left, I have to think. <laughs> and Hannah is one of our big milking producers. So I knew right then she could easily feed three boys, but she could very easily feed two boys. Miracle, I did not know what was going to happen. Since they kitted back to back, I took a chance for the very first time here on our farm. And the little boy on your right, who is Miracle's, I brought him over rub some of the stuff coming out that was on the first little boy onto him, even though he was already dry and in his milk coma from eating with Miracle, and set him down in front. She was cleaning her boy, and she started cleaning this boy. Long story short, we have two very happy families now. Hannah has her two boys. Um, it's the next day. They've been very well taken care of. She loves them both dearly. Just one is adopted and one is biological. As we know as humans, this happens a lot and it's always a blessing. And I believe this is a blessing for Hannah because she loves her babies and she loves these two boys. So that's our amazing story for you here today. You know, sometimes we just have to thank outside the box of normal 
and figure out what to do to make everyone healthy and able to just take care of it. You know, right now I have Lily with her quads and I will show you those. Here is two of them because I'm actually having to separate every couple hours just so she has two at a time to feed. Although Lily herself is one of our biggest milkers we have. She milks about a half a gallon, which is amazing for a Nigerian dwarf. But she has three big boys. Again, one of those stories. And then one itsy bitsy, there she is right over there. Itsy bitsy two pound girl. When the boys, and she's doing great now, when the boys are more like four pounds. So that little girl right there is Lily's. There's Lily. She's outside the pen because we're separating right now. These two little boys are Lily's. And then we have another big boy right there eating his hay this morning and little sis. One big happy family. We're just having to do some adjustments right now to make sure everyone is getting food because little sis because of her size and because of her big brother's size they can get in there and knock her off when she's trying to eat although mom can feed them all because she has plenty of milk the poor little thing can't get in there she just she can't do it the boys knock her off so separating we have two out here that can eat right now and they're eating just fine and then we have two that are waiting till it's their turn and they're just fine they have full bellies and you know only two can eat at a time anyway but we're just managing and taking care of everybody on top of we have about 70 babies right now and more coming so it's very busy this right here is one of our bottle babies Mama just could not, Lily, no. Mama could not take care of her babies. She just didn't have enough milk. So another rescue that we had to do, and you can tell this is a bottle baby for you. Don't you love my um, pretty barn shoes? <laughs> but these three are bottle babies. This biggest one here, I've had her for about three weeks now, them two are less than a week old. Um, the reason I have the older girl right here is because her mama was a first time mama, had, mom had three girls. The first, the first two girls were big and this little girl was a pound. So I decided to pull this little girl, bottle feed her right at the beginning. Mama didn't even miss her because she was so overwhelmed, just like Hope. Hope don't even miss the other boy. Don't even know he's gone. She had been through so much to have them and I pulled him immediately that she doesn't even recognize that she's missing one. And Hannah over there doesn't recognize that she has an extra. So it's all wonderful. But back to the bottles. This little girl we've been bottle feeding and mama's taking to care of her two sisters because again, first time mom, just too much for her to take care of, to make sure everybody is wonderful and healthy. But if you're interested in any of our Nigerian dwarfs, we are located 30 minutes east of Kansas City, and we have a lot of beautiful babies available right now. You can find us on Facebook at CLM, Premium Goats and Goat Milk Products. You can also, of course, subscribe to our channel here to watch all of our amazing videos. And we now sell our goat milk soaps and lotions on Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction app, if you're not familiar. And you'll find a link in my description that you can click on and it will give you $15 off your first purchase. Everything is sent direct to you with low shipping. The more you purchase, the cheaper your shipping because it all bundles into one box. But you can get nice homemade goat milk soap, 
lotions, uh, farmhouse and vintage decor. This week we have uh, vintage linens, but every week we have more wonderful things that you can shop from and we'd love to have you join us there. Thank you for watching our videos today. Please like, share, comment. We love to read all the comments and you are helping us support our very little YouTube channel by doing all that. Thank you so much.